this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a tab-based mobile application. Very similar to the mobile view-based application, except that there are tabs included inside the application that allow you to switch between different view stacks. So we'll begin by going to File, New, Flex Mobile Project, same as with the view-based application. I'll call it My Tabs. Go to the next tab. I'm not going to use Apple or Blackberry. And I'm going to switch over here to the tab application. You can see that in the little view here, there's three tabs on the bottom. Permissions, same as before. Platform settings, nothing for Android. So there we go. And we will just click Finish on the bottom here. That will create our application. And there it is in the list, My Tabs. Again, we've got our source folder, where, it's where we're going to place all of our code. And the default package will contain our first view navigator application. But this one's called a tabbed view navigator application. We are going to create a views package here, and we'll put our views into there. We can do that ourselves. Just um, oops, come to the source folder here, we've got that highlighted. In the new menu, we can come down and say, I want to create a new package called views. Finish. And there we are. There's an empty package. The white means that it's got nothing inside of it. So we can create a view here. We can specify up here that this is going to be our first view. We're going to specify it within our tab, but Right now, for views, we're just going to create one just to have something in that folder. So, an XML component inside the package views. Because I had that highlighted, it automatically said this for me. And I'm just going to call it home. I'm going to go to vertical layout in this list and click finish. And there we are. There's the layout tag specifying that this is going to be a vertical layout. This is a view, and its title is home. So that is our home.mxml file here, which we are going to link to from inside of the tab view navigator, navigator application. So inside of our tab view navigator application, to create the tabs at the bottom, what we are going to do here is we are going to create things called view navigators. So right here in the code complete, that's what we want. A view navigator. For each one of our tabs, there will be one view navigator. And I'm just going to call mine first and second. So ID first, label, stuff. That's going to be what's written on the tab itself. There's also an icon. Um, attribute that we can put in here if we wanted to link an image to it. And we can say that the first view for this guy is going to be views.home. That is the name of the mxml file inside of the views package that we want to point to first. All right, so there's one tab. And not just a tab, it's also a view stack. So put another one of these in here like this. This one I'm going to call second and I will change his label to things and we will create another view called other. All right. Now, problem, other doesn't exist yet, so I have to come in here and say that I'm going to create a new component view. Now, you'll notice I clicked on views if I didn't click on that, let's say I, I had the project selected. When I come into File, New, Flex Mobile Project, MXML Component, that's the one I want. Now, it doesn't have the package highlighted for me because I'm on the project. So I have to write in views. If I had clicked on views, that would have been filled in for me. So this one's Other. I'm going to make it a vertical layout as well. Finish. There we are. Both files are showing up inside of the views package. The title is other. 
this one the title is home now you'll see that in a lot of flex code examples people do this with their attributes they line them up vertically it makes it much easier to read the code so I have two there we go two view navigators which basically means two tabs if I wanted I can put some content inside here to make that appear on the views as well, but I'm just going to start with this. So Google Android on my Air Simulator. I'll pick that. HTC Desire. No real reason other than just it happens to be in the right place for me to click on. And here's my tabs down here at the bottom. I don't know how well you can see those. I'm going to try and shrink this down a little bit. Oh, there we go. This is what I'll do. It makes it much easier to see that way. There's stuff and things. So back and forth, there's my two views. Home and other with the titles. And you can see it's just toggling back and forth between those views. And by default, the tabs fill up the entire width. There we go. Now, my views that I'm loading in here we can specify some more details. So I can come in here. We've got the ID, we've got the label, we've got first view defined. I can also specify that I want the width of my view that's going to be loaded to fill up 100%. So that's what I want this home view to do. When I load this guy, I rotate again, and there it is, taking up 100%. This guy I didn't specify. This one is taking up 100%. So in my second view navigator, I will come in here, label my first view, and I will say that the width of the view that's being loaded is going to take up 100% as well. So when I load this, back and forth, the view is filling up this entire space. And that's it. That's a tab-based application.